What's going on guys, Billy here, and today I've got a review of the Joby Gorillapod. Now although I just picked this up, it has quickly become one of my favorite tripods, and although it's not like a traditional tripod, it is a perfect tool for taking time lapses. The version that I opted to get was with the ball head X attachment, but this does simply screw off revealing just the original Gorillapod. When you remove the ball head X attachment, you simply get this tripod screw mount on the top, but this does lack the functionality that the ball head X gives you. As far as the ball head attachment is concerned, this will add an extra $50 to your price tag, taking it from $100 all the way up to $150. Now the build quality is impeccable, the screws don't wobble when you spin them, and the materials that are used to build this are phenomenal. Loosening the screw will allow you to point the camera in any direction that you want. This is a luxury that you don't get if you simply just buy the Gorillapod without the ball head attachment. Taking a look at the build quality of the Gorillapod itself, this is made of some top notch materials just as the ball head attachment was. The amount of force that it takes to bend these legs will assure you of just how sturdy it can be. Now let's jump into some example clips. Here I have my camera attached to the Gorillapod, taking a nice time lapse of the clouds moving throughout the sky. Now honestly, I attribute this whole entire shot to the ball head X attachment. As you can see, I have it pointed up, and without that attachment, I really wouldn't be able to get this same exact shot. Here's the example time lapse that I took. Again, it is nice and sturdy. There's no movement, and the Gorillapod does a really good job at combating the wind. Now, you may be wondering why you would have to spend so much money on such a small tripod when you could achieve the same shot using a regular tripod that could cost anywhere from around $50, but you're honestly paying for the functionality. For example, let's say you wanted to get a time lapse of a busy street. You could bring a regular tripod, but that would be very big and bulky and take up a lot of room. If you bring the Gorillapod, you get the benefit of being inconspicuous, and you can also put it in a unique spot, such as on top of a fence. Now that the time lapse is over, I want to show you guys just how sturdy it was. And if you do move it around, it will wiggle a bit, ruining your shot. But again, if anything bumps into it, you won't have to worry about the camera falling and breaking. Now you don't need the Gorillapod in order to take great time lapses, as you can see I have this on my deck, but again this isn't going to be as sturdy as the Gorillapod, and honestly I would have to sit there with it and make sure that it doesn't fall off, and honestly the whole entire time I would probably be scared that I'd break my camera. Without the Gorillapod, this is the shot that I would have gotten, and to me this is pretty bland, I wasn't able to point the camera up and look just at the clouds. Now I wanted to put the Joby Gorillapod to the test and put it inside of a door frame. Now this is a very unique spot, and I've seen this done on the internet a few times, but I wanted to test it out for myself, and I can attest that this was nice and sturdy. So that about wraps up this review of the Joby Gorillapod. It was fairly short as this is a fairly basic product, but I do think that it is a great tool for taking time lapses. So if you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, as well as subscribe if you're new around here, as I have been trying to upload daily, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.